Hi, my name is Brian Jackson, an associate professor here in the Department of Horticultural Science at NC State University. As primarily a teaching faculty member, one of the responsibilities I have is to teach three courses in plant identification. I, one of my favorite courses as an undergraduate and as a graduate student is my honor and my privilege to teach this class every year. My philosophy in teaching plant ID is, is cut twofold. First of all, it's exposing students to the breadth of plants that are in our landscapes to show students how plants interact with us in the landscapes, how they create spaces, how they're different, and all the ways in which plants make our landscapes. The second philosophy I have relative to class and my students is to teach the principles of how to identify plants. That, in my opinion, is so much more important than learning 50 cultivars of any one particular plant. The process of learning plants is something that will instill in you the value and the ability to identify details, to be specific, to be observant, to hone your powers and your abilities to observe the world around us, to observe small details, to take notes, to synthesize information, and then through that process, in the end, we learn plants as also a result. So the process of plant identification teaches a skill set much beyond a plant palette that will enable you as a gardener, as a horticulturalist, or as a designer to do your job, but the process allows you to be a better scientist, a better person, a better observant student in the, in the end. As part of teaching plant identification, one of the great things that we're able to do is to spend two lab sessions per week, which is more than any other course. And I value this because two lab sessions per week with students in plant identification allows us to get out and explore campus, explore the neighborhood surrounding campus, and to explore and to utilize the J.C. Ralston Arboretum, which is very close by to campus. Using all of these resources and facilities and spaces, we're able to see a broad range of plant materials. It's through this outside interaction and engagement with the landscape, with plants that students, I feel, come, come away with a broader understanding and appreciation for plants other than what they are, but also what, to, what their potentials can be when used in the landscape properly. 